I really started hanging around MUCC when I was a kid. Um, my dad and my grandfather were both involved in MUCC on the volunteer side. My grandfather and my dad are both past presidents of MUCC, so I've been coming to MUCC meetings and I've been around the organization since birth. I have told people that I've probably visited every holiday inn in the state of Michigan going to an MUCC meeting of some kind or another. And that was always just a very important part of what we did as a family. Um, being involved in the conservation movement was very much a part of our identity. We did a lot of hunting and fishing when I grew up. Um, but protecting the right to hunt and fish was, you know, 1A on that list of things that we do. It was just the way that we got involved and it was something that we always did together as a family. So when I was an undergraduate at MSU, um, the program I was in, I had to do an internship. So I ingratiated myself to Sam Washington, who was the executive director at the time, and asked him if I could do an internship in the policy shop. So I did that for a year or so, and um, then I wouldn't leave until they gave me a job and paid me for the work that I was doing. That sort of uh, parlayed into an opportunity to go and work for the lieutenant governor at the time, John Cherry, who has um, been a good friend to MUCC in the past, and I think he's probably pretty well known to Michigan hunters and anglers as being pretty friendly to our issues. Um, and got a chance to work with him on, you know, his interest was in hunting and fishing and conservation and so I was a policy advisor on his staff and I focused on those issues as well. So I tried to keep him connected to um, what was important to, you know, the MUCC membership and to the other organizations out there like Ducks Unlimited, the Turkey Federation, and so on and so forth. From the Lieutenant Governor's office then I moved over to um, the Department of Natural Resources and I was the legislative liaison with the DNR for a couple of years. and. Basically that means I was the lobbyist for the department, so I was responsible for advancing um, any legislation or responding to any legislation that might have affected one of the DNR's program areas. And I interacted with all 148 members of the Michigan legislature in, in that process. Um, there was an opportunity for me to go down to the Wildlife Division and work with Russ Mason and um, help him and, and the rest of the management team kind of work on the policy issues that, that they were confronting. And, you know, ran the policy and regulations unit um, for the division and um, was very happy doing that for, for a few years and um, then had an opportunity to go and work for Central Michigan University, uh, which is a little bit closer to my home. We've got young kids at home and so it just was the right time for us to, for me to not be on the road quite so much and, and um, spend a little bit more time at home and be a little bit closer there. So. I worked at CMU for a couple of years until I got the phone call asking me if I'd be interested to come back and work for MUCC and it took me about half a second to think about it to say, absolutely, let's start talking about it. So that's kind of how I got to got, got here.